You first want to grab three packages of these five gallon paint stir sticks. I get mine from Home Depot. You want a total of nine of these paint stir sticks. Go ahead and line them up right next to each other. And then I am using these jumbo craft sticks. Just applying some of this Dollar Tree adhesive glue and some hot glue on the back of them. And this is just going to hold those paint sticks all together. Next, I'll just be applying some black acrylic paint, just applying that all over the paint sticks, watering it down, and then using a paper towel to just wipe that right on. And this is just going to water down that acrylic paint, so that way it leaves you with a faux stained finish without using any of those harsh chemicals that are inside of wood stain. Then grabbed this gift bag from Dollar Tree. I went ahead and just cut it down to size. And I wanted just the top portion, so I just cut off that black part of the gift bag. And rather than using my pair of scissors, I didn't want a straight edge. I wanted it to look like it was ripped and kind of rustic looking. So I just ripped the gift bag so that way it kind of had some rough edges. Once I had that cut down to size, I went ahead and just applied a generous and even amount of Mod Podge where I wanted to place that gift bag. So once I had that applied on, I just grabbed the gift bag, laid it over that wet Mod Podge, and smoothed it out with my fingers to get rid of any air bubbles or wrinkles. Let that dry and then just go over it again with another coat of Mod Podge just to seal and protect the gift bag and then allow that to dry. Next, I had this vintage truck from Dollar Tree, and I wanted to get rid of that glittery Merry Christmas, so just grab some nail polish remover. I use 100% acetone nail polish remover. Just apply some on a paper towel and just begin wiping it down. And once you had mo most of that glitter uh, taken off, just go over it with a sanding block just to remove any of that excess. Then I went ahead and just painted the truck with two coats of this Waverly chalk paint in the color crimson. Just dry the first coat before going on to the second coat and allow that to completely dry. Now let's find a good placement for the truck on the bottom of this sign. Once I had that figured out, I used that Dollar Tree adhesive glue with a mixture of hot glue and just held that truck down for about 10 to 15 minutes until those glues are completely adhered. Look at how cute that is. Then I just grabbed some Christmas picks from Walmart. I just placed those on the top, used that Dollar Tree adhesive glue and hot glue mixture to hold those into place. And again, you wanna hold those picks down for a good 10 to 15 minutes just to let those glues completely adhere. And look at how adorable this came out. I just love it. I hope this inspires you guys to create your own in your own special way. If it did, please be sure to sprinkle the love. Thank you so, so much. And I hope y'all have a good rest of your day. Thanks. Bye.